I've got some news for you today. So the Fresh Start servers for New World, they're coming out November 2nd, and they finally released the rollout plan for that. I wanna go through that with you so you know what to expect of that. Also, if you weren't aware, they're gonna do Fresh Start servers for New World. Well, anyway, uh, let me go ahead and pop that up. So uh, right here, we got the rollout plan for the uh, whatever. I don't know why it has like a double message. What is this? Anyway, um, okay, so. Uh, greetings adventurers missed out on I'm just gonna read it to you. It's not very long. So I'm just gonna read the whole thing uh, Missed out on your chance to claim the first territory in a turn Interested in establishing your foothold as a re re Oh my god the reigning champion of the land Take your first steps on a fresh blank slate when fresh start worlds come to our tournament on, on, on November 2nd We are excited to release the rollout plan for the fresh start worlds as well as an a fact for any additional questions or concerns you may have below find the fresh start world rollout plans so there's like a picture that sums it up for you in your own time zones i guess no it's all c e t e d t yeah in the respective time zones uh so main thing is uh i i don't really know how to go through this with you guys um let's see midnight in my time which is 5 p.m paris and 9 a.m in west coast uh on the second uh, we'll get the first round of servers, then two hours later, an EU server, US East server come up, and then an hour after that, another central and US East come up, and then an hour after that, um, a Europe, a South America, US East, US West, and Australia come up. So Australia doesn't even come to happen until late. Well, I don't know what time that is in Australia, uh, but it's like the last one, the Australian one will be. And so uh, South America has one come out right away, and then also has one comes out, you know, four hours later. Uh, so be aware of that plan. So don't like I, I would recommend Just well, it just depends like I don't know will, will there even be cues on these will enough people even come I don't know you know what but this is a plan you make your own plans make your own decisions on what it means I, I'm not gonna try to advise all right, so We got the facts. There's not a whole lot of them. So let me just go through all these uh, How long will the servers be locked for transfers from existing servers will players in these fresh start worlds be able to transfer out of them? The answer is there will be no transfers of existing characters into Fresh Start Worlds. We plan to allow transfers from a Fresh Start World to a Legacy World at a later time. Can players in Fresh Start Worlds transfer to another Fresh Start World? Not at this time. I hope they eventually make that possible. Like, that, that should definitely be a thing like a month or two or four down the road or something. Will there be a third character creation slot or will I need to delete a character to access these Fresh Start Worlds? Which is the other big news of the day. Players will have a third character slot added on November 2nd. Any and all character slots may be used towards fresh start servers or legacy servers, but you cannot have more than one character per world. If the fresh start world population drops, does that mean it'll be merged on a legacy server or will it be merged with another fresh start server? We will never merge any fresh start worlds into legacy world. I don't know why. Wait, why? Why would they dodge that question? What? Like, what? Like, okay. They're answering the, the fact of, okay, we're not going to put them into a legacy world, but why not say, and if it becomes an issue, we will merge fresh start worlds. Like, is, is this like, is them not answering it saying that like, they're going to be like, we don't know how to again. We've lost the, we've lost the technology. Anyway, uh, how many fresh start worlds will there be? All regions will have at least one fresh start server. Please see above for the rollout plans. If I'm banned on legacy server, can I start a new character on a fresh start world? Bans are account wide. Will there be a world for SEA slash OCE, Oceanic? At this time, we do not plan to open any additional regions. Oh, sorry for you guys, that's unfortunate. I guess that's Southeast Asia and OCE, Oceanic, man, that's unfortunate. Will the new leveling experience be available on fresh start servers? I, I would hope so. All new content, including Brimstone Sands and the revamped starting experience will be available on those. That was like a freaking, man, softball right there. Will Night Vale Hollow be available on fresh start worlds? No, but all future events will be available. Oh, I was not expecting that. So there's not going to be the Halloween event, though, on the Fresh Start server, which I guess it makes sense. It was November 2nd, right? So it's already a past Halloween by that time. Where world population be higher on Fresh Start worlds? What? Oh, oh well, like max server capacity be higher. No, Fresh Start worlds and Legacy worlds have the same max on population cap, which I think is 2,500 now. Will Fresh Start worlds have a different build or moderation policy from Legacy servers? <laughs> No. <laughs> Will there be a dedicated PvP only or RP only world in the future? That's like nothing to do with the, the fresh start servers, but okay. We do not have plans to create a PvP only or RP only world at this time. That's unfortunate. I feel like that'd be cool to have in this game. Like that would actually be really cool to have in this game. Have like a world where it's like PvP's always on 
or one that's just dedicated for RP, even though that's just all like formalities. Will Fresh Start Worlds be language tag? No, they will not be language tagged. Will Fresh Start Worlds characters be able to access already purchased items? Yes, account wide items like promotional in store items will be accessible. That's cool. How do I differentiate a Fresh Start World from a Legacy World? Fresh Start Worlds will be tagged at the world selection screen. Is there an official Amazon Games forum or Discord specifically set for people who want to participate in Fresh Start World? No. Okay. Okay. Um, will there be queues for Fresh Start Worlds? We have queue mitigations in place, but you should plan for there to be queues on your Fresh Start World. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. What if all Fresh Start Worlds are set to full? Servers may become locked between waves due to world capacity and queues. But we will monitor worlds closely, especially during and right after the rollout phase, to ensure that players can join a world in their preferred region. I want to stop for a second on this one. I, like, okay, I don't expect, with how New World's been, I just don't, don't expect these all of these servers to be full. I just find it unlikely. But I would hope that they have a plan in place if it does. And somehow I have a feeling they just don't. Like, I have a feeling in the, the, the crazy off chance that somehow all the servers are full with 2,000 person queues, it'll take them like three days to figure out how to open up more servers or something. They're not going to have the switch ready to flip, you know what I mean? But I doubt it'll come to that, honestly. We'll see, though. Are Fresh Start Worlds the same as Return to Eternum Worlds? We will be releasing Fresh Start Worlds at the same time as Return to Eternum Worlds. At the start, Return to Eternum servers will be reserved for event participants, but once Return to Eternum ends, they will be accessible to the public. Wait, I get, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm out of the loop. I don't know what Return to Eternum Worlds are. Okay, I Googled it, and it's a weird Twitch event thing with a fresh start server. I'm not exactly sure of the details to be exact. This is the link to this, which is not helpful. So, uh, my understanding of this was that there are teams of Twitch streamers, uh, Asmongold and these guys, and I don't know any of these people, and I don't know any of these people, but, uh, these people are all going to be competing on some fresh start server on uh, November 2nd, November 18th to try to complete objectives as fast as possible, ranging from PvE quests like boss kills to PvP tasks and more. Uh, each team will receive the same eight challenges, must complete any six to level up. I, I, this is mainly just to try to get people to like, you know, this is in my opinion, this is a, a tactic to try to get New World to be high on the which view category so like I'm, I mean it's just like I assume that's a ploy to try to get new world to be like on the top row of twitch based off of view count just to try to get more people to think about the game and, and maybe come in it's 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 a marketing tactic I guess so I didn't spend a whole lot of time looking but I don't know like if a, if the return to a turn world is going to be like private and only they can get in it or anyone can join it I'm not actually sure but I know somebody will comment and say something about it and they'll have all the inf information. So just scroll the comments like a few hours after this video. I guarantee you one of you guys will tell me about it exact detail, but that's the gist of what's happening with it. Um, so yeah, some streamer competition on those worlds and the Fresh Start worlds will be released at the same time as those worlds. Uh, the return to one will be reserved for the event participants, but once the end, they'll be accessible to the public. Okay, so they are gonna be private servers, I assume? And then once that competition is over, then they open up to everybody. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, well, I'll link this. And I'll link this return to a turn on page too. And I may even link this other return. I might as well link this page too. I'll just link all three of these pages to you guys. And that way, if you want to access any of these and, you know, take a second look at the times and do whatever you're going to do, uh, you can go ahead and do that easily then. But yeah, so that's the news. They're going to add a third character slot so that you can join a fresh start server without having to delete one of your characters in your region. Uh, other than that, fresh start servers November 2nd. They're going to come out in like around noon Eastern time. Noon through 4 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, 9 a.m. through 1 p.m. West, uh, West Coast. And... Uh, 6 p.m. through uh, 10 p.m. for Europe is what I think I understood that as. Uh, but that's the rollout plan. Those are all the questions. I, I don't know, went through them all. And um, yeah, it'll hopefully be fun. I'll probably check it out um, if I have time. I mean, the first week of Fresh Start will probably be the most fun, just like the first week of real launch. Um, I, I've been meaning to make videos of like what you guys should do to make money on a Fresh Start server. Like... I'm thinking about making like a challenge video being like, all right, guys, let's see who can, I don't know. 
I don't even know what I'll do. But main thing is I, I need to just tell you guys what to do to make money. Because I remember first week of actual launch. And I know most of the things that you can do to make money and what matters. So uh, I might make a video like that if I stop being lazy, okay? Well, anyway, that's the news for New World Fresh Start servers. Now you know the rollout plans and you know what to do on November 2nd in New World.